Happy Tuesday, TJ. We hope you enjoyed your three-day weekend. Hey, Ivan, did you do anything wild this weekend? Nothing much. I just went on a trip to Utah. Sounds totally tubular, man. All right, let's get into these announcements. TJ, do you want to be able to share your experience in DPS? Well, the DPS Your Voice surveys allow you, your families, and staff to do just that. The surveys are now available and were sent to your DPS school emails. You can also find them in the Parent Portal and DPS K-12 website. The survey is currently open until October 6th. Now let's go check out an admin to see what they have to say. Good morning, TJ. Mr. Kristoff here, your favorite principal. Hey guys, guess what? Today, lunch ends at 1219. That means that if you are late coming to class, then you get to eat lunch with us tomorrow in the building. So please, set a reminder in your phone to get back to school by 1212. That gives you seven minutes to get to class. We don't want you guys late. We've had a lot of kids coming in late to sixth period. We need you guys to be in class so that you can get an education. All right, TJ, 1219, lunch ends. Set an alarm on your phone to be back at school by 1212. That gives you seven minutes to be back in class. I want to see everyone in class on time today. You can do it. I believe in you. Christoph out. Good morning Spartans. So this week you're going to get these PSAT and MSQT guides in your English class. Please pick one up, look through it, do some practice. October 13th and 14th you'll take some assessments for the PSAT. Have a great day. Good morning, TJ. It's Mr. Scarry. I want to talk to you real quick about your attendance. Uh, this week and next week are kind of our October count windows, and so it's uh, very important that we verify all of our attendance and that uh, uh, our enrollment numbers. So we'll be doing hall sweeps. We'll be going through the hallways to make sure you are in class right away, those first couple of minutes of class. Um, if we're found wandering in the hallways, we're going to take you down to the classroom and have a discussion with you. you got to be in class, on time, every class, every every day. All right, seniors, don't forget about your 93% uh, attendance expectations. Um, that is going to be important for you to walk at graduation, so keep that in mind as we're getting started this year. Other than that, uh, um, happy Tuesday. Be good to each other. Uh, you never know what somebody else is going through, so be nice. Thanks, TJ. Thanks, admin. Seniors and juniors, listen up. For all of you TJ students looking to go into college, there will be a virtual college fair today from 5 p.m. to 7.45 p.m. Tomorrow from 5 p.m. to 7.45 p.m. and Thursday at the same time. These will be hosted on collegefairsdenver.org and the sessions are free. Wow, that's so cool. We'll definitely have to check it out. Now off to sports. Hey TJ, it's Grace. And it's Khan. We are your sports anchors for this week. Volleyball has a had a game yesterday against Severance. JV and varsity won, but unfortunately C team lost. Better luck next time. In other sports news, lacrosse has a meeting tomorrow in Mr. Klimzak's room after school. In professional news, the Broncos played the Jets and beat them 26-0. Good job, Broncos. That's all we have for today, TJ. Let's send it to the halls. What's up? It's Holden and Adam from Boys Soccer. Yeah, we have a game today against GW at GW. <laughs> at GW, varsity's at 5.30 and JV's at 4. Um, Wish us luck in yeah, the hall. Come support us. Thanks. Hey guys, it's Erin from Gymnastics. We had a meet this Saturday. Everyone did super well. It was also our senior night, so congratulations to our seniors. <laughs> it's Will and Zach from Boys Tennis. We have a game today against Kent at TJ. It's senior night. Wish you guys luck in the hall. That was so sporty spectacular. Ivan, did you know tomorrow there will be a creative writing club meeting in room 221 at lunch? No, I did not, but now I do. There's also going to be a sustainability club meeting tomorrow in Mr. Butera's room at lunch too. So be there, TJ. Now it's time to catch up on the news. Happy Monday the 27th, Spartans. Wait, that was yesterday? There wasn't even school? Then where was I at? Anyway, happy Tuesday, Spartans. For local and entertainment news, the creators of South Park, Matt Stone and Trey Parker, have bought the restaurant chain Casa Bonita after an agreed upon $900 million deal. It also fits with the theming of the show as Casa Bonita is a Colorado local restaurant and South Park's in Colorado. Anyway, for COVID news, listen up. Pfizer submitted data to the FDA, aka Food and, Extreme, uh, Food 
and administration asking for the approval to use its COVID vaccine for children ages 5 to 11. They're examining data to see if it's safe for children to take. Anthony Fauci wants children hopefully vaccinated by uh, October. What do you think of the new Spartans? That's enough thinking. Have a good Tuesday, Spartans. Wow, I'm so up to date on these current events. Thanks, News. TJ, listen up. On Thursday, September 30th, there is going to be a fundraiser for the class of 2024 at Bird Call. 35% of the proceeds will go back to TJ's class of 2024. Wow, helping out the freshies and just by eating chicken? How could it get any better than this? It doesn't. Wow, looks like that's all we have for you today, TJ. Peace out, TJ. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Sarah from BSA, just letting you know we have a meeting today during lunch in room 111 and we'll be discussing black communities and media, so make sure you're there. Thank you. Hey TJ, welcome again for another edition of the POW. We've got a new problem this week, it's called pocket swap. All right, if you can count change, you can do this problem. So TJ, you got any change in your pocket? Quarters and dimes, if you can count change, you can do it. The question is probably scrolling as I speak, but give it a try. It's due next week, Thursday on the 7th. So be, uh, take care of the problem, just give it a shot. For the students who won palindrome time. So this problem, this party's been a long time coming, but the palindrome time winners were these students. So Emmanuel Morales, Dagan Goodwin, Toby Zinn, Andrea Scott, Mrs. Kalinchuk, Stefan Fisher, Jesus Flores Sanchez, and Santiago Frias Espinoza. So those winners, join me today at lunch for the POW party. So you were winners last time, and we're going to have a root beer float party brought to you by A&W Root Beer. It's so delicious. A&W, we hope you're watching this and sponsor our next party. All right, TJ, if there were a problem, you could solve it. Oh man, you doused me. Oh no. What's a weird food combo you enjoy? Eggos and an egg. <laughs> Peanut butter and chili. I don't know if that's weird or not, but I like it. Um, ice cream with fries. Uh, a combo I enjoy um, that's kind of weird are pretzels and cucumbers. 